New cases of the highly contagious strain of the coronavirus first noted in the UK continue to show up across the US, including dozens of infections here in San Diego County. Marky Martin has the very latest efforts to contain the new strain. Just last week, the first U.S. case of a COVID mutation reported in Colorado. Since then, cases popping up in states like New York, Georgia, Florida, and Pennsylvania. This is not unexpected that we would see cases of the variant, and I believe about 50 cases have been seen in the United States. The first variant case in Texas was reported on Thursday, the same state where a team of researchers has been working in tandem with Pfizer on a study that shows the company's vaccine could be effective in fighting against two variants that originally erupted in the UK and South Africa. All the vaccine manufacturing companies are looking very closely to see if this particular strain, the vaccine is still effective against that. In the study that Pfizer shared with News Nation, the mutation is called N501Y, a slight alteration on part of the spike protein that coats the virus. Researchers believe that alteration is responsible for the variants being so globally contagious. Researchers from the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston used blood samples from 20 people who received the Pfizer vaccine. They found that the patient's antibodies from Pfizer successfully fended off the variant virus in lab dishes. Pfizer also releasing an official statement to News Nation on Friday afternoon, saying that future tweaks to the vaccine, like we see in flu shots, will be feasible. Saying, quote, if the virus mutates such that an update to the vaccine is required to continue to confer protection against Against COVID-19, we believe that the flexibility of BioNTech's proprietary mRNA vaccine platform is well suited to enable an adjustment to the vaccine. News of the study coming as the U.S. wraps up its first week of Pfizer's double dose. Healthcare workers relieved to officially be fully protected. We're even more excited than 21 days ago, more hopeful because these are more people that are getting vaccinated and that's possibly less patients that I'm treating in the intensive care unit. And that was Marky Martin reporting. There have been at least 55 cases of the new strain confirmed in the U.S., but health officials believe that the outbreak is more widespread than the numbers actually suggest.